Hello everybody! Um, I know it's been a while, uh, <laughs> shame on me, uh, but I have been b -b 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 busy. Uh, you might notice there's nothing behind me. I have not moved. This is my usual spot. And no, I have not gotten rid of my records. Uh, they are all in storage. Very depressing. But there's a reason to it, and it's why I've been so damn busy. I am in the process of trying to sell my place. Uh, all day long I've been cleaning. I just had a realtor come in. Uh, we set a price, uh, did the contract, and all that good stuff. And uh, it will be posted up very shortly. So wish me luck um, in selling my place, and, and uh, I will be upgrading. Hopefully I can get it done with because for the last several months I've been doing nothing but repairing this place and it's been sucking up all my time and records are in storage <laughs> to make it look a little less cluttered and with a lot of other stuff. Uh, you might hear a bit of an echo in here. <laughs> but all of that has not stopped my vinyl buying because you know when you get that itch you just gotta itch it so big pile of vinyl i'm just gonna as always rush on through these but to start with a scorcher the new acid mother's temple a new dawn what is it wake to a new dawn of another astro era this is an awesome album uh two lp set on a uh, pink vinyl not a gatefold sadly off of uh, important records uh, now, two members of the regular Acid Mother's Temple band left, the drummer and the bass player. So this album has a new drummer, new bass player, and in many ways, you could almost immediately sense the difference. There's just something different about it, but it's still quintessentially Acid Mother's Temple. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's just a bit more... I suppose rhythm to it than most Acid Mother's Temple albums would normally have. Nothing new, but just not the norm. Uh, regardless, fabulous album. Uh, only three tracks, <laughs> believe it or not. Side B and C is taken up by the very long uh, Nebulous Hyper Meditation. Awesome, awesome album. Uh, freak Out, like always, with an awesome... Uh, space edge that I a space psychedelic edge I should say that that I dug the shit out of so very very cool this one I got cheap still sealed because I have no way of playing it yes even my audio equipment's in storage <laughs> feel bad for me no uh, the, the no YTO combo uh, live album with uh, Jello Biafra, uh, Chris Novoselic, Kim Thalen, and Gina Mainwall. Just a great, great, uh, what's the wrong for? Punk album. I mean, straight up great punk album. Uh, Battle in Seattle is the only actual song written by the group. The rest is all covers, including uh, the best cover I've ever heard of Full Metal Jack Off. Absolutely wonderful album. Ah, bizarre. How do you pronounce this? Bizarro Fights, I suppose. Carl Erdman. a oh, great private press album from 80-something. I can't remember. Um, recommendation from Chris Cole. When he makes a recommendation, I tend to get it. <laughs> but but uh, I guess the best way to call this would be sort of an Eastern-inspired uh, folk jazz album. Uh, very along the lines of being uh, lo-fi, but I mean, just absolutely wonderful from what I've heard. I haven't been able to spin the record because, well, uh, but I have heard samples of it online and it, it, I can't wait to actually spin this baby. Aha, record stave door release that I got uh, at a later date and it wasn't a bad price. I only paid like maybe 10 bucks more than I pay in a store for it, but uh, the uh, new, I guess, split Bardo Pond and Acid Mother's Guru Guru or whatever with uh, members of uh, Acid Mother's Temple, 
Bardo Pond, of course, and uh, uh, the, the drummer from Girl Girl, what's his name? Manny, Manny something, I forget his name. Manny Newmeyer. Oh, I get the feeling that this is all improvised, <laughs> which is the best thing possible. Uh, came on two tricolor or two split colored records. Just awesome, awesome, often. Awesome. Haven't been able to spin it, but it came with little downloads, so I have heard it. And just long, improvised, psychedelic space, you know, jamming with some slight freakouts going on, but, but generally on the very mellow side. Uh, fabulous release that, like I said, was a record store day release that I didn't know about. So I saw some people posting on it, and I was like, I need it. And... Well, I got it. <laughs> so, uh, a lot of Acid Mother's Temple stuff or, or related stuff on here. As in this one, uh, ha, ha, Acid Mother's, uh, what is it? Uh, the Acid Mother's Temple and the Cosmic Inferno. Uh, this is an album that came out in 2005, I think. Uh, but it came out only on CD. It, it was actually one I wanted to get for a while. And when I found out it was going to be reissued, I was like, I don't need the CD. But Anthem of the Sp Anthem to the Sp Anthem of the Space, oh, just classic Aston Mother's Temple. I mean, if you know the band, nothing needs to be said. Aha, Earthless and Harsh Toke. Oh, this is just fabulous release. Look at that. I love that label. Sort of the ode to the, uh, oh, look at that vinyl. Just, uh, I guess slime green, I almost call it like radioactive slime goo. Absolutely killer cover. I wish you could see it in the light, but whatever. Uh, two groups that I just absolutely love are Earthless and Harsh Toke. Uh, both, I gotta say with this one though, I think I like the Harsh Toke song a bit better. Harsh Tug being a bit more of a sludgy sort of doom or doom sound to it. Uh, the Earthless track on this though really caught my attention for one reason because it's very mellow. <laughs> as far as as far as Earthless goes, it's very mellow. It has one sort of reoccurring riff that goes through it, and the whole time you think it's just gonna like build and build and build and just sleep you in the face, and it really doesn't. But that's not a bad thing. Not a bad thing at all. I mean, Acid Crusher for Earthless and uh, Mount Swan. Harsh Toke. <sighs> Two killer rocking bands. Ah, House in the Tall Grass. The new, uh, and again, I can't play it, so I haven't even opened it. <laughs> uh, but I wish I did now because I know it's pretty cool vinyl on the inside. It's like a green, silver thing, clear on the outside, whatever. But the new Kikagaku Moyo, love this band. Known about them for years. I know I turned a lot of people on to them when I went to a Psych Fest. But one of the one of the best, uh, well, that I know, the best Japanese. Bands. I'm sure there's a lot I don't know, but one of the best Japanese underground bands that's coming out currently. Absolutely love them. Ah, Jesus, spontaneous improvisation. Another sealed private press jazz album that I bought on recommendation of Chris Cole, and I haven't even been able to listen to it, but I know it's good. Spent some pretty coin for this, but it is a pricey record, so I don't feel too bad. Uh, oh, these bunch I got at a, a record show, so I'm going to buzz through them. Cannibal Adderley, something else. Oh, with Miles Davis. Classic Blue Note album. This is, the, the guy tried to convince me it was a first pressing. I was like, no, 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 no. That's an early 60s press. It ain't a first press, so I got it for cheap. Uh, Chikorita, Joan, Tones for Joan's Bones. I have a Japanese press of this, but I had to get an original Vortex label. I had to get it. Ah, this is the swirl, baby. Ho, 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 look at that, baby. Vertigo swirl. Um. Another one that the guy tried to tell me was an original UK press, and I was like, no, 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 dude, it's a Canadian press. But I mean, it's got the swirl, I'll take it, but at half that price, 
and well, he actually gave it to me. <laughs> so, so wang, wangling dangle when you know what you're talking about. Uh, Gentle Giant, uh, what the hell, uh, uh, acquiring the taste. Uh, their second, oh, second album, I believe. I found this at Goodwill last year. Awesome record, but to get a swirl label makes it all the more better. Uh, Ornette Coleman, uh, Soap Suds with, uh, well, what's his name? Char Charlie Hayden, uh, Duo Music. Beautiful album. Uh, Shankar with, uh, what is it? Young Garbrick and uh, Paley Mickelborg. Visions, ECM album. Ah, Zebra, Jack D. Jeanette. Been wanting this one for a while. <laughs> uh, with uh, Lester Bowie on a trumpet, tr trumpet solo. Pretty much a... Uh, Pretty much just a, a Jack D. Jeanette solo album. He's doing synthesizers, uh, and that's, uh, does he play drums on this? I can't even remember. I don't think he even plays drums on this, but whatever. Uh, Gun, Gun Sight. Oh, awesome. Uh, hard Rock group, I guess you call it, Hard Rock. Uh, Freddie Hubbard, the Black Angel. Wanting that one for a while. Uh, Coltrane, live at the Village Vanguard again. And those were my record store digs. Now, more, more, more. Uh, my record store digs. Those are my record fair digs. Uh, our, our solar system in time. Had <laughs> this one for months. Great, uh, I believe, Swedish group. This is off uh, Beyond, Beyond, Beyond. Uh, improvised hippie space rock, I'd call it. Can't go wrong with that. And Beyond, Beyond, Beyond threw this one in as a, sort of an added bonus. Uh, Heaven, uh, Sunday's sip Cycle? S Sunday and Cycle? Uh, I label this more along the lines of a, uh, psychedelic hard rock group. Um, I believe it's mostly instrumental. I only listen to one side and I don't remember hearing vocals on it, but definitely a cool record to have. <clears throat> the New Iggy Pop! Post-Pop Depression! Uh, which I was going to ignore until I found out Josh Holm was on it. And I said, oh, you know, maybe I should give it a try. And I'm glad I did because it is just awesome. I mean, it's, it's obviously Iggy Pop. And I thought it would sound very much Queens of the Stone Age. But it really doesn't. And just awesome album. Captain Beefheart. Got a couple Beefhearts. Um, uh, Captain Beefheart and his magic band. Uh, Mirror Man, UK Press from the 80s. Uh, let's see, what's this one? Uh, Blue Jeans and Moonbeams. And Unconditionally Guaranteed. All UK Presses from the 80s, I do believe. Uh, two from this band. Great band, just found out about them. Uh, off of Room Gramophone, of course, love that label. Uh, Crocophant, I guess that's how you pronounce it, Crocophant. And Crocophant 2, which just came out last month or the month before. Oh, awesome group. Trio music, uh, right? Uh, saxophone, drums, and guitar. <laughs> so good. It's sort of this, straddles the line of this psychedelic, free jazz, you know, hard rock, you know, bluesy jam. It, it's just, it's just Awesome <laughs> and hard to describe because it's 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 very high energy and intense, but also at the time it, it's really beautiful. But I guess you call it psychedelic jazz. It's the best way I could say it. Really good album. Uh, Terz Ripto, baby. Uh, early ECM, uh, uh, 1060, uh, still in the special import sleeve. I love that. Got this cheap, picked it up months ago, and I just haven't showed. Uh, Orzen Space Collective, Ode to the Black Hole. <laughs> uh, one just long track, which is great. Uh, the guitars, as sometimes in this group, don't take over on this record. It's more of a, it's more of a synthesizer-driven record, which. I just love the crap out of I got the special purple colored vinyl, got number 20 out of 100. Uh, aha, Anders, Anders, Anders in, in uh, uh, Stockholm. What the hell is his 
Was it Anders this time? I think that's his label called. I forget. Uh, but Anders new new uh, uh, label release, Swing by a uh, uh, co correction. Oh, just great piano driven jazz. Uh, at times very free, and at times very almost standard centered. Really dug it. Really dug it. Uh, Kigagakomoyo. Kigagakomoyo. Kaomara Makoto. And Bison Wu. Rivers and Mountains. Oh. Anything with Kig with Kaomara Makoto, I gotta get. Uh, this came off of uh, Bam, Bam, Blam Records out of France. Uh, very lo-fi record, very uh, folky record, and just totally awesome, <laughs> totally awesome. Another off of Bam Blam, it's, uh, oh, what is it, it's Richard Pinyas and uh, Tatsuya Yoshida, of course from Ruin, uh, Hakata Shibuya live in Japan uh, 2014. Just great album, uh, very high energy, sort of sporadic, you know, free improvisation music with lots of electronics. Really damn good. I love Yoshida. His drumming just fascinates me. The new Fire Orchestra. We've been waiting a while for this baby. <laughs> Got it off of uh, white vinyl, but I'm not going to bother showing. Uh, as is customary with Fire Orchestra, two LP set. All one song broken into five parts, I believe. Broken into five parts. Awesome big band fusion music is the easiest way to describe it. With some very soulful vocals and lots of free jazz noise in the background. I just love this group. It's, of course, the band Fire, but with an orchestra behind them, thus Fire Orchestra. <laughs> Makes sense, right? Very logical name. Uh, Kaobara Makoto, Hosanna Mantra, Hosanna Mantra, oh, been looking for this one for a while, finally found one at a cheap price that I've been wanting, uh, very ambient uh, solo music from Kaobara Makoto, uh, guitar noises but not really guitar playing I would call it, beautiful spiritual record, I love it. Uh, another album featuring you know Kawabata Makoto uh, Splendor Mystic Solace got this baby really cheap <laughs> it's got uh, how do you call it I guess heavy noise heavy punk noise is how I would call this record just blowing your eardrums out and leaving your brain numb absolutely love it Omar Rodriguez, of course, from Omar Rodriguez Lopez. Album came out in 2005 or six or something, 2005. Uh, I've been out the hunt for this for ages. And again, I just found one that was finally like, whoa, it's how much? I'm buying it. So, and I've had it for a long time and just awesome, awesome album. Many of these are precursors to songs that he released on other albums, but it's good to hear a different version of them because uh, you're always hearing something new. And I just absolutely love it. Fusion jazz, I would call this the best way to call it. And last, I got to show Acid Mother's Temple and the Cosmic Inferno, Doobie Wonderland. Ha oh, ha, this came out a couple years ago on CD. And I remember telling somebody, oh, I'll wait for the vinyl. And then the vinyl never came out, but then it finally did, so I'm glad I waited. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, what do I say? I mean, As a Mother's Temple, you know, side project, I'm on it. Heavy, psychedelic noise. It's like my bread and butter. You know, I love it. <laughs> Long video, lots to show. Uh, if you actually stuck with me, Thank you so much, and you know, it might be a while between my next video, so you know, till next time.